Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from Missouri. More specifically, Branson. Now Branson, Missouri, described by Homer Simpson as Las Vegas, if Ned Flanders was in charge. But it's much, much more than that. Uh, most famous for uh, dinner theaters, musical shows, but it also has many of the wonderful attractions that you'd find in other tourist meccas, such as Wisconsin Dells or Pigeon Forge. So I'm excited to envelop myself in the city of Branson. Follow me. It appears that one of the primary uh, draws here in Branson is uh, musical theater, and uh, I think mostly gospel and country. Here we have a Tobuchi Shoji. Now that looks very interesting, but um, I, I think I'm gonna have to pass on on uh, on musical theater for this trip. All right, this story's a bit convoluted, so try to follow me. So they had an RFD theater here in Branson, and one of the uh, center points was they had Roy Rogers, the famous king of the cowboys. They had his horse trigger taxidermied, and in their lobby, and uh, apparently uh, the the building closed to the public, but you could still see uh, Trigger through the window. Um, and then I heard that he was at a museum in Texas, but that was apparently only temporary, and that RFD TV still owns uh, Trigger. Now RFD, by the way, is Rural Farm Development Television. It's my uh, father-in-law's favorite uh, TV network. He watches uh, old episodes of Grand Old Opry as well as Hee Haw. And uh, so I came out here to the RFD building to see if I could catch a glimpse of Trigger Through the Window. But apparently it is now a Chinese acrobat theater. Hmm. So yeah, as you know, I'm a huge fan of celebrity taxidermied animals. So anyone out there with any idea on where Trigger or the horse may be, please reach out to me and let me know. Samson. I bet that's good. Hey there, roundabout Jesus. The Grand Country Fun Spot. Here's to have a giant banjo neck sticking out of the window. And this little fella sure looks like he's having fun. Check this out, hovering above the pizza buffet. The world's largest banjo. Let's see, it's so big it doesn't even fit in the building. So it's Dark Ride XD. That's clearly not a dark ride. That's a theater simulator. Hate to be a nitpicker, it's not a dark ride. Check out this old farmer here. Oh, he's a happy guy, even though he only has one finger left. Check out this chicken coop, though. Those hens are laying some eggs. Hertz Donut, a donut restaurant named after what a bully says when he punches you. And check this out. Somebody called the Wambulance. Here at the Veterans Memorial Museum, there's a very amazing sculpture out front. This is apparently the, one of the largest war sculptures in the world. And what it is, is these are World War II soldiers. Um, there's one from each state, so there's 50. And uh, each one is individual and, and unique. And each one portrays an actual real person. Kansas soldiers, actually Bob Dole, believe it or not. So apparently the museum here has actually had some trouble with funding and the statue was actually repossessed. But the city of Branson did enjoy the statue, did feel it was a great statue to have here. The city actually bought it, bought it uh, from the whoever repossessed it and put it on display here uh, back in front of the museum. So very cool. All right, so you're in a city you're not familiar with. You're on vacation. You don't know where you should eat. But let me give you a good, solid piece of advice. 
eat at the place with the giant meatball and fork out front. Paschettis. You can actually walk through the meatball. Oh. You can imagine the meaty warmness. They actually have up here in the balcony miniature Ferris wheel. I need to put a little fuel in the car and maybe get something to drink. What better place to do that than Ricky Bobby's Pit Stop, a gas station themed after Talladega Nights. Now who do we have here? Mr. Reagan, I presume? Now this massive Reagan is from one of the presidential parks uh, there are several parks around the country that had these giant president heads. There was one in Williamsburg, Virginia, one in Texas, I believe, and one in South Dakota. Um, I do not know which one he's from. I don't think he's from the Williamsburg one, but he is from one of the other. He was separated from the pack when uh, those parks closed down. I guess someone was a fan of Reagan here in Branson and wanted him in front of their establishment. I just want to show you my hotel real quick. This is the tradition in. I use the um, the special feature on the Priceline app where you get like a, a really good deal, but it won't tell you what your hotel room or your hotel is until after. So this is the tradition in. I like it because it's like old style hotel. So this is definitely a vintage building, but it's very clean, very nice. Anyway, I've been filming like a madman today. I have a lot of uh, larger museums, things around Branson I've been filming, and I hope you all enjoy it, because I've had a lot of fun filming it. So for now, this one's in the bag. I certainly don't want to come off as exploitive in any way, but I almost feel um, that it would be uncomfortable to not mention this. Um, I had scheduled this trip to Branson a couple months ago, but uh, several days before I arrived, there was a horrible um, accident that uh, reached the national news. There was an accident involving um, these machines known as ducks. They are basically a combination between a bus and a boat that do tours and take you out on a lake. Um, just a few days ago, one of them sank in the lake here and 17 uh, people drowned, um, including an, almost the entire family. Um, just absolutely horrifying, unbelievable um, tragedy here. Certainly don't want to get into any talk about whose fault it was or, or what happened, but I just wanted to make it clear that, you know, thoughts, prayers to the families who have gone such a horrible, horrible loss 